ain't no stopping us. Hey guys, what's up? Jeff here again to orient your fitness in the right direction. <sighs> Amazing copy. All right guys, so in this video, I'm gonna be going over with you guys a condition known as torticollis, also called wry neck. But for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna be using the term torticollis. So essentially this condition involves your neck being very stiff on one side and people with this issue typically look like this. And you can get this condition either when you're older or younger. If you are older, it could happen sudden. If you are grown, it can happen suddenly over time. You might be sleeping in your bed at night and you might wake up in this acute pain. You might have neck spasms. It could come on this issue due to a violent or a sudden jerky motion you make with your neck. And that could throw your facet joints and your neck out of alignment. And that can lead to torticollis as well. And this issue can also come on gradually with time, such as by you constantly being in bad posture, you having neck arthritis, this, that's how this issue could also happen. And that's why I have videos on my channel that go over good posture techniques, good posture exercises. So I recommend watching some of those videos. And if you have spasms in your neck, that could possibly be your body's way of protecting yourself from an underlying issue there. So that's why I recommend seeing someone like a doctor or a physical therapist to get you checked out because something could be happening there and you want to address that. And torticollis is also very common in newborns because if, you, if the newborn is in a bad position in the uterus, then they might be scrunched up on one side like this. And then when they come out, that one side of their neck is going to be much tighter than the other side. So the baby is going to be much more predisposed to going into this position like this. And that can have implications if gone untreated. It could have implications with regards to growth and development. And the baby will be, for example, the baby will be much more likely to use the side they can see. So if they're like this, they're going to be much more likely to use this side because they can see it better. And the main eight muscle that is associated with torticollis is your sternocleidomastoid, or SCM. And that's this muscle right here. It goes from here and it comes up to your right here. So it's from here to here. And this muscle, its action is tilting your head to the same side it's on and rotating it to the opposite side. So it's like this. So when this muscle is very tight, you can see why it would cause torticollis. And if you, and if you have tightness in that muscle, you want to try stretching it out. So now I'm going to teach you how to stretch your SCM. So what you do is you do the opposite action of what it does. So say my right SCM is tight. What you're going to do, side bend your head to the opposite side, rotate it to the same side, and now you're going to bring your head slightly back. And then the final thing I do where I find I get more of a stretch is I take the arm on the side I'm stretching and I put it behind my back. So put that arm behind your back, go in that position, side bend opposite side, rotate same side, head slightly back, arm on the side behind your back. Hold that stretch for 30 seconds, do it twice, and that should help you stretch out your SCM and that should help with this issue. All right guys, this has been Jeff once more, orienting your fitness in the right direction. If you liked the video, I'd really appreciate it if you thumbed it up, commented on the video, and subscribed to my channel. And until next time, I will see you guys later. <sighs> see you guys later.